Today, I'm taking a snow camping 101 class from the Tahoe Rim Trail Association in South Lake Tahoe. It's a two-day course starting off warm and toasty in a classroom, followed by a day in the field putting what we've learned to some practical use. My instructor was helping me map out where I was going to dig the hole and what features I needed in the hole in order to make my night's sleep as comfortable as possible. I really had no idea that there was a special way to dig a hole, but in the snow there certainly is. I think that once you get over the initial the initial shock of what you're being asked to do, which is dig a hole in, in the snow, uh, it's really fun. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. Here's my front door. My tent would be on this bench thing if I had one to set up. Step down. Whoa! That's my cold zone. Step down. And then I have my little stove area. And my bench area. While we were all digging our own holes, the staff built us this incredible community kitchen. I, however, wanted to cook my lunch in my little snow cave. I'd put so much work into it, I wanted to use it, see if it actually worked. Turns out, it did. The biggest no-no to snow camping is getting all of your stuff wet. So guess what I did? I got it all wet. My camelback leaked. The good news is we're not staying, so I'm safe. But it's definitely a really good learning situation, or learning, it's definitely a good moment, a learning opportunity. All right, so for t today for lunch, we're having smoked three bean chili. So one of the tricks they talk about is to get your dehydrated food all nice and warm with the water you just boiled, and then you put it inside your jacket. It warms you up. Let's try it. Oh, I feel, yeah, I feel warm. I feel warm. Okay, so that's gonna cook for 10 minutes. In regards to my backpack being wet, I did put everything that was um, clothing into a separate bag, so none of my clothing is wet, none of my gloves or anything like that, so that's really good. I feel glad that I thought about that. <laughs> Final thoughts on the Tahoe Rim Trail Association and their Snow Camping 101 class. Un freaking believable. Is that enthusiastic enough? 1000%, 500 gold stars. Do it if you want to learn about snow camping. I 
I learned so much my head's gonna explode. I feel like I need to take this class five times just to retain the information that was given to me over the last two days. And now for the worst part, we have to fill it in. I feel like I have so much confidence in being able to snow camp. Maybe, maybe, no, I don't have too much confidence. I, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't have too much, but I have more than I did before and I feel more prepared for the JMT than I did before. Leave no trace, right? Not that I need to dig a snow hole or that I will be in this situation. God, God, oh Lord, I hope not. But if it does start snowing on a peak, I know what to do and I don't feel scared anymore. Uh, if you need to learn anything about the outdoors, call the Tahoe Rim Trail Association. They are an incredible resource for all of us as far as being safe in the outdoors. They, they offer several courses, several classes, several community service opportunities. And I just, um, I didn't realize that they were more than just the Tahoe Rim Trail. And uh, I can see myself participating with this group more and more and more as the years go on. So I highly suggest that you do the same, especially if you love Tahoe, especially if you love the outdoors. Uh, they're just an unbelievable wealth of knowledge and at such a reasonable price. So donate, subscribe, whatever you need to do to support these people, do it. I, um, as you know, I don't normally like tag or put things down below, but I am going to put them in the comments section or whatever it is down there uh, so that you can easily access their information. That's how much I love this program. <laughs>